We're joined now by Notre Dame professor of law, Jimmy Garule. Professor Garule is a renowned expert in the field of international criminal law, specifically terrorism, terrorist financing, and anti-money laundering. Among his many successes in law enforcement is undersecretary for enforcement in the U.S. Treasury under George W. Bush. Professor Garule was instrumental in developing and implementing the U.S. Treasury Department's global strategy to combat terrorist financing. Welcome to Notre Dame Day, Professor. How you doing? Doing great. Doing great. great. Thank you. Thank oh, you for the invitation. Happy to have you. I'm really excited yeah. to dig into this. Now, uh, you're a professor at the law school, but you also worked uh, at the Treasury Department. What was uh, your role there? What was that like? I was appointed by uh, President, then President George uh, W. Bush, uh, to serve as Undersecretary at the Treasury Department. That's the third highest ranking position in the Treasury Department. Wow. And I was in charge of all of the uh, Treasury federal law enforcement agencies, including the Secret Service, the U.S. Customs Service, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, and several other smaller law enforcement agencies. Now, what was it about the University of Notre Dame that led you to come here? It's values. It simply can be described in one word. It's values, it's commitment to social justice, it's commitment to educating a different kind of lawyer. And you were uh, a leading figure in the lawsuit against banks holding uh, Iranian government assets. Can you kind of describe that and what that experience was like there? Yeah, I worked very closely with a, a Notre Dame uh, undergrad by the name of uh, Tom Fay. Tom Fay is a very uh, successful lawyer in uh, Washington, D.C., has his own firm. And he brought a um, kind of a, a, a trailblazing civil lawsuit suing the Islamic Republic of Iran. Mm. And he was suing them under a claim that they had provided funding and logistical support for a terrorist organization, Hezbollah, that was responsible for a terrorist attack in 1983 in Beirut, Lebanon. They attacked yeah. the U.S. Marine barracks in Be Beirut, Lebanon. And it resulted in the deaths of uh, over 200 American soldiers, Marines, and, uh, and the injury, injuring uh, hundreds of others. Wow. So you're, you're really in the thick of it. <laughs> so I worked with them on that case. That case went all the way up to the United States Supreme Court. I filed a brief in support of uh, Tom Fay's position. And the case, uh, I'm uh, proud to say, was resolved in favor of uh, Tom Fay. And the victims, the surviving victims of the terrorist attack in Beirut were able to recover $1.7 billion in a bank account that was being held on behalf of the Central Bank of Iran. And these are often the, the aspects of the fight against terrorism that uh, common Americans probably aren't even thinking about. Uh, it's, re it's really good to hear that insight there. Now, you're also instrumental in the law school's uh, Peace Through Law Lecture Series. What's that series about? Yeah, Tom Fay has uh, generously donated money to support the lecture series. And it's the Peace Through Law Endowment for Excellence. And so the focus of the lecture series uh, is to bring very prominent uh, lawyers, policymakers to Notre Dame to speak to our students on the issue of terrorism, but countering terrorism from a different perspective, not the military perspective, mm. not through the use of military force, but through more peaceful means, such as imposing economic sanctions on terrorist organizations and state sponsors of terrorism. Well, thanks so much for joining us here on Notre Dame okay. Day, Professor. Thank you. I Thank really you enjoyed having, having this conversation. 